Doesn't really matter though. Just gotta keep on grinding out. The more hits you deal, the better off you're gonna be at this point. Oh, what? A summon? No, Bio 3. Uh, pretty eh, decently strong attack. It's not overly powerful. Since it's not something anyone can have a weakness to, it's not something you're going to find yourself caring about. Oh, crud, I just put them in an unfavorable position. Oh, come on. Oh, well, all I needed was Night Sleep Study. I don't care. <coughs> Sorry, get off some hits. Please go up there. Alright. Sun Magic. That's some immense damage. This fight's gonna be over fast with that. Split punch. Now he can't be afflicted afflicted with those negative statuses, so I don't even bother trying. Now we've got him trapped on one square. Should be pretty easy. Oh, we didn't get to show off Lich. But wait. You're losing because you're you look like Frankenstein fused with a frog fused with, I don't, I don't know, a fat suit or something. And you explode, but we miraculously survive. Being caught in the blast radius. We didn't take a single casualty. That fight's going a lot worse sometimes. But I'm not complaining. Not one bit. How long were we fighting that? Like two minutes? Three minutes? Huh. It's the shortest fight in the history of the game. 8,000 gil. That's all we get. For, oh, we probably get that stone too. That puts our total stone count at like three, doesn't it? It's pretty great. Inside of Zeltenia. I'm, I'm sure we're never going to have to go there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, so the princess is safe, and Orlando. Interesting. So one of Goltana's men wants to aid Lard. That's why Gellin was so jumpy. Why is Delita helping him? More, you know, lack of scrolling due to a little money. So Goltana went to Lazalia and confronted Ruvelia in Bethla for kidnapping the princess. And let the princess accede to the throne. 
but Larg insisted Oranus was the legitimate successor and had him accede to the throne. But they're both the then Lard became the regent as a guardian. Immediately after, Lard sent the Hokuten, led by Oranus, led by a three-year-old, two, three-year-old, to Bethla to rescue the queen. Meanwhile, Gotenna sent the Na Nanton, actually, I thought it was Nathan. it's Nanton, led by Ovelia. This is the beginning of the upheaval, which would later be called the Lion War. Okay. Makes sense to me. The Lion War. And we save. We have some time. We'll get a look at the plot. What things are looking like now. <coughs> ah, Bethla Garrison. Wasn't that where the Queen was being held? Who's the new guy? Oh, he's he's the Marquis. Bonna. Uh huh. Uh huh. So we're learning learning about the war. Who's Olan? Oh, man. <coughs> yeah. Huh. TG Sid. Never heard about that. But Goltana, I really think you are just as bad as the other corrupt people, Larg and his people. I really do. And welcome to the start of Chapter 3, The Valiant. This has to be the shortest chapter in the game. Delita told me that there's a big tide and he goes against it. If this is war is the big tide. Gosh, I hate this. Like a fate we can't avoid. Can I go against it? Oh my gosh. Now I head for the Zalia to tell my brother Zalbag there's someone manipulating this war. But will he listen to us or will he just, you know. Shrug us off and say, you're a kid, what can you do? Uh, you only have one parent anyway, like every other RPG hero. Can we do anything to stop this war? Or bring truth to it at least? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Holier than you won, and I'll see you guys later.